I'm Matt Hansen from Boundary Bay Brewery and Bistro, and in celebration of Oktoberfest, I'll be showing you how to make a traditional schnitzel recipe with a Rahm schnitzel sauce. For this recipe, we'll need about a half dozen thin cut pork loin portions, two julienne onions, a half pound of chopped white mushrooms, one tablespoon of garlic, one cup of cream, 12 ounces of stock, two cups of cooking oil, four cups each of flour and breadcrumbs, three eggs and a tablespoon of cream for your egg wash, and then two cups of Boundary Bay Oatmeal Stout. To make your Ram Schnitzel sauce, heat up a teaspoon of oil in a pan, and when it's hot, add your chopped onions and mushrooms, and cook them until they're soft. You know the onions are done because they will become translucent. Now that our mushrooms and onions are cooked, we're gonna add our cream, stock, and Boundary Bay Stout. And after we do so, taste it, and if you find that it's too strong of a stout flavor, be sure to add a little more cream till it tastes right for you. So after about 20 to 25 minutes of simmering, we're gonna have a more thick, viscous consistency for our sauce. And we're just gonna set it aside and get started on our pork cutlets. Now we need to bread our pork cutlets. And to do that, we're going to take one of them and dredge them in the flour to dry it out. Be sure to shake loose the excess when you do this. And we're gonna put it in the egg wash so we can adhere the breadcrumbs to it more easily and then just shake it around in the, in the breadcrumbs and knock all the excess crumbs loose and just do this till you've breaded the rest of your pork. Now we're going to heat up the two cups of oil to about medium on the stove top. You'll know it's hot enough when you can drop a piece of breadcrumb in there and it will start frying and once you have that just go ahead and Add them to your pan and cook them until they're golden brown on each side, which is usually two to four minutes. Well, once the cutlets are golden brown on each side and firm to the touch, you can take them out of the pan and put them on a towel. Dab off the excess oil and add a little salt and pepper to it. And they're ready. I've plated the schnitzel with some roasted potatoes and sauerkraut, and I've paired it with the traditional lettuce and lemon garnish. Now we're going to add our Ram schnitzel sauce on the top. From our kitchen to your table. Prost.